right and make sure it sound right, boys. So here we are today uh, with a very special guest from Argentina. So we'll start things off with a very unorthodox intro, but that's how we do things. I'm going to try to say your name and okay. you'll tell me, give me a score of 1 out of 10. Okay. How I do it. So I'm going Perfect. to try. I'm probably going to do terrible. Okay. I should have paid attention to my Spanish classes. So we have Marcelo Salvia. Is that it? That's correct. Yes, that's correct. I, I'm good. <laughs> that's correct. And then it's my turn to try your name. Yeah, okay, yes. So you are Andre Skulal. Uh, Suglal. Suglal. Yes. Oh, okay. Not bad, not bad. Okay, so you won the first one. Yes, yes. So I'll have to I win this cup at the end of it. So we'll get straight into it, of course, you know, in our typical unorthodox style. Um, it's a pleasure to be here. Thank you for having us. My pleasure it's too. It's an honor for us. Uh, it's no, it's the worst kept secret in the world that I'm a massive Argentina fan. <laughs> I see. Yes, I see. yes. And you know, it's kind of how we met each other. Yes. So, you know, before we get into it, uh, what were your thoughts on that video you saw that did so well in Trinidad and Tobago with all the fans as somebody who's a representative of the country? What did you think about it? Well, I, I, to begin with, welcome to the Embassy of Argentina to well, Trinidad and Tobago. Yes. Uh, I'm very happy to have you here and I'm very happy to learn that you are a massive Argentinian fan uh, and in, uh, as you said uh, when I saw the video of the, that people celebrating but before celebrating being so nervous following the penalties mm -hmm. uh, uh, in, on Arapita Avenue during the final uh, I felt like I was related to everyone there mm -hmm. because we were suffering on a different place but yeah. on the same on the same game so yeah. uh, I was amazed to see the huge support that Argentina had all along the World Cup here in Trinidad and Tobago. It was something for me, satisfying, uh, humbly speaking, I was really in love with Argentinians' fans in Trinidad and Tobago yes. because the support was very important. Yes, it was, listen, uh, there's no hiding in the video how emotional I was. Exactly. And you know, it's, it's exciting to have this sort of cultural exchange. It yes. shows how football, especially Argentinian football, how it transcends countries. Yes. Because to me, one of the things I noticed is that it was celebrated not just by Argentinians, but all around the world, which exactly. is very unique. Exactly. And that was a surprise to us because we know that Argentina has lots of supporters around the world, but uh, this past World Championship proved that uh, the amount of support is huge. And, uh, and as we were speaking before, but uh, we have a huge support on Argentina, for Argentina, but also Lionel Messi yep. carries and uh, with him a lot of support that may come from people that not necessarily support Argentina as Correct. a national team, but they support Messi. And this was the World Cup of Messi because it was, they said it may have been the last chance for him to celebrate uh, a World uh, Championship, which may not be the case because he's uh, still like uh, still showing interest in being a part of the team in in the upcoming uh, World Championship in Canada, Mexico, and the US. Correct. Exciting times to be an Argentinian yes. fan. You know, the Copa America. Yes. Uh, the Finalissima. Finalissima. And uh, the World Cup. And also that um, uh, Messi and the national team has, uh, have, has also been recognized uh, by different international organizations. Like, for instance, last week, yep. the Laureus, Laureus, oh, yes, yeah. the Laureus uh, for Messi and for the national the team. team. So uh, we are still harvesting uh nice uh, and good news from our world championship like i told a lot of people after that world cup final that it's very impossible for me to come down from this cloud i'll nothing can upset me for the next four years <laughs> yeah, exactly. until the world cup comes around <laughs> exactly. again but uh it's, it's something that you know especially and it's it's we're glad to have this conversation with you as somebody representing your country in trinidad and tobago and you know you saw the video you know from somebody who is from argentina What's it like knowing that there is a massive following here since you came here? Well, I mean, it brings joy yeah. uh, because it's nice. I mean, you know that uh, in a place where you, you don't belong, mm -hmm. there are a lot of people uh, in, in the same page with you mm -hmm. uh, in terms of love towards a sport, love towards a team, yeah. love towards certain players. Mm -hmm. So, I mean, it's, uh, it's a joy feeling. Correct. And, you know, culturally, we're, we're doing a cultural exchange. I love that we have the flags and everything here. We have the flags. So, you know, we, we were speaking about this drink that we'll talk about really quickly. Mate. It's, yes. So it's mate. Um, mate. It's, it's, a, it's a kind of our national drink. It's yes. basically an infusion. Right. Uh, it's, uh, it comes from a plant that uh, its scientific name is 
something like that, paraguarensis, mm, right. which relates to the southern part of uh, South America. Right. So it's very popular in Argentina, Paraguay, Uruguay, and the southern part of Brazil. Mm -hmm. Almost everyone drinks mate from an early age. Right. Uh, kids would uh, drink it with milk instead of water. Right. Uh, in the more um, hot areas or warm areas, they would drink it with um, ice or cold water, or even juice, orange juice, lemon juice, and it's really fantastic. It has the properties of any infusion that will give you um, antioxidants, oh, yeah. some small nutrients, but uh, uh, also um, uh, the properties of caffeine as well. Mm -hmm. So it will keep you aware and uh, it's nice. Usually we drink a lot of mate during university time when you have to Study. be yeah, to be very uh, aware for internalizing all the knowledge that then you have to uh, be tested upon. Uh, good strategy, folks. Yes, yes, you can drink mate. It's, yes. it's good. And you find German mate here in Trinidad and Tobago. Because uh, I've been looking. So. Yeah, yeah, you will find it. As I said, there are a lot of um, like Middle Eastern food groceries right. that they will carry mate because um, mate is also popular in Lebanon, Syria, and Middle East. Right. So uh, mate is available here in Trinidad and Tobago. By the way, Messi drinks mate. Yes, that's why uh, I brought it up. Yeah, and, and almost all the national players drink mate. Yes, because I saw. That's why I brought it up because during the World Cup you would see them walking around. They, I even saw a documentary on uh, Amazon Prime. Yes, where they were talking about how uh, they have large amounts. That was one of the big things. The equipment manager. Exactly. I mean, yes. I, I work with my national team, so I know how that is. <laughs> and you know, they prioritize. And I was like, what is this thing? And being an Argentinian fan, it piqued my interest. Yeah, no, mate, so to mate is a must. There they they has to be mate every, in every trip of the national team. Yes, yes. Yeah. And so maybe that's one of their secrets. So what I'll do is before the interviews, then I'm going to have a sip of this. Okay. Uh, courtesy from. Of course. Cultural exchange. By the way, let me tell you that this is my uh, club in Argentina, Club Ferrocarril Oeste. Perfect. So we won twice national championship, mm -hmm. uh, 1982, 1984, and since then we've been willing to uh, win another championship that is something that uh, we hope it will happen sooner or later. That's loyalty and so that's finest. this is Mate. Since it's the first one, yes, it's me to drink it because it will be the most sour right. of Mate. So I drink it, I don't. I don't mind that you then share the straw with me. This yes. is the you way. You said that's a cultural thing. Yeah, right? yeah, we share the straw, so yes. um, I, I will clean it for you. But it's yeah. <laughs> perfect. <laughs> I love it. I love it. So um, the first one is really very sour. Yeah, see, he's preparing me. So it's hot, eh? So should I just sip? So yeah, we'll... be careful because it's hot. Okay, so I'll do just a slight sip. Small, small sip. Yeah. Small sip. Okay, yeah. perfect. And... Ah, nice. I like, I sense the herbal thing. This is brilliant. Folks, I've been looking for this for the longest time. So this is bonding at the highest level. Exactly, yeah. I'll, it actually tastes good. It tastes very herbal. Yes. So maybe that maybe I'll play some football today and destroy some people. <laughs> if I have any exams, I'll go sign up for a course today and, and drink so, that. This will, will not come up in the in the, in the anti-doping test. So it's, mm. it's allowed. Oh. It's allowed substance. So perfect. You, it's perfect, yes. Yes, yes. yes. I'll, I'll have to tell that to my players as well. Yes. Uh, because I should have brought my cup and maybe next time we'll yeah. do that. We'll definitely have. I love this because I'm, like I said at the beginning, it's it's no, it's the worst kept secret how I'm in love with the culture of the country. I went down there, went to Toronto, uh, back in 2014. Mm -hmm. I love the steak. Mm -hmm. um, you know, I took a walk around and went to all the stadiums. Oh, Bombonera, sorry. Bombonera, Boca, and Monumental River. Monumental River. Yes. And, uh, you know, I, it was exciting for me with my home country. And it was even a joke, and I think you would appreciate this, because, because of your role here, because of my love for Argentina, even though I was representing Trinidad, I was a little bit torn because I love the country. And every time Argentina scored, I was like this. But then <laughs> I had to be like this around my friends and stay quiet. <laughs> Uh, and I love the atmosphere of the stadiums and the passion of the country. That, that's what I think drew me to love the country. Uh, before football and everything, uh, when they were singing the anthems, you would see people in the 80s and 90s. And then you would, what amazed me, there was a little girl, couldn't, she could not be any more than four years old. Mm -hmm. And she was very much aware of the emotions of the game. Mm -hmm. uh, when there was a miss or a call, she would do like this and, you know, I was aware of it, but seeing it in person, no, and feeling them sing the national anthem. It's an experience. It's, it's something you cannot describe. No, you I, have I to know. experience. I know, yes. So yes. It's, 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 it's really an amazing uh, 
culture that you all have. Thank you very much. And I love that you all, you know, this is great. This is what EXTV does. Of course, I'm all biased towards Argentina. But uh, it's, it's really, truly a pleasure for us. And we'll definitely be doing some follow-ups because I know you took a, a lot of time out to see us today. And we really appreciate that. And we'll definitely maybe have some more exchanges, maybe some more mats, of yeah, course. Yes, of course. And, uh, you know, you, maybe you, can, you can finish this mat if you want. Oh, I would love to. I would love to. I can take it over if you like. <laughs> I love it already. Uh, folks, you know, uh, on my social media, I have my... Uh, oh, it tastes so good. But uh, just to end things off, because we know time is of the essence, it's an absolute pleasure for you having us here today. And it was short, sweet and beautiful. I love the exchange. I love the mat, of course. Now I know where to get it, folks. And, uh, you know, it's very interesting. It's a unique design. I love it. It's, they all the cups are very unique. But uh, I would like to end things off by saying we'll definitely be doing this again. Of course. Uh, and let me tell you something. Yeah. Next time it will be more relaxed. Yes. And we will, instead of mate, we will can uh, try some choripan, Ooh. which is sausage uh, in sandwich sausage. Oh, nice. Then we can also try some beef. Yes. And some other Argentinian delicacies. Perfect. So you'll be more relaxed, but uh, more, uh, we'll have some more culinary fun. oriented. Oh boy, I huh? love it. I know my cameraman oh. is going to love that as okay, well. Yeah. He, he's, he's into that stuff. He's invited too. Yes, yes. So you know, we, we love that stuff. So we'll definitely, we're looking forward to that. It's an absolute pleasure. And uh, we'll definitely be seeing you and fans. We'll be continuing this soon in a couple of weeks. So it's been an absolute pleasure. Likewise, thank you very much. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you for watching. Be sure to head over to our YouTube channel where you can see interviews in cricket, football. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And also head over to exceviamedia.com, our website, where we have blogs and interesting articles for you all to take a look at, which is a little bit different. So like I said, don't forget to like, subscribe, and comment in the comment section below. <laughs>